Hello, and welcome to the Emergency Perpetual Testing Backup System. This is PA, recording to you from the past. Yes, it's true, I didn't have time to record an episode today, so you're getting one that I recorded a bit earlier. Hey here, the real cave. Greg's been crunching some numbers here on Earth hmm. Prime. Turns out the likelihood of me being the only cave who likes talking to test subjects is... What's the actual number, Greg? Right. Zero. So, tell you what, we're going to use a code word. If I say chariots... It means you're listening to me. Otherwise, it's an imposter cave. I want you to know you have a license to kill on this one. What? Uh, Greg says that might destroy the entire multiverse. Point is, use your own judgment. License to kill. Uh, fair enough, cave. Thank you. All right, this name, the name of this test chamber was Stop the Box, made by Mir. Oh. Let's uh, yeah, let's stop that cube first thing. What did that do? Oh, that resummoned the cube on the other side. Alright, so, first things first, let's find out what our wonderful buttons here do. First one will take us to the other side. Alright, I'm okay with this. And what does the second do? The exact opposite thing. Alright, fair enough. Now, how do I activate these is the real question. We've got a couple of... well... Excursion funnels down below. Now, without the ability to act of what in the world? Okay, I know that my boxes can't come through here, but I can, and what is down there? I think that might be a button to activate the excursion funnel. But to do that, I'd have to get through here somehow without deactivating my portals. Hmm. Alright. I can deal. Oh. Well, that's something. Not only do these deactivate that... They deactivate their associated... Portal. Hmm. Interesting. But not the other portal. Which means... How do I get a... Wait, how did I even fire a portal over there? I see! Okay, so this one deactivates the portal on this side and activates, or deactivates the Emancipation Grill on this side and activates the Emancipation Grill on the other. So, to be able to get across, I would need to... Oh dear. This is, I, th I have the feeling this is going to get complicated. Uh... Okay, those uh, fields were kinda... Tearing me back and forth there for a second. That's not good. Can I travel in these freely? Okay, I don't know... Which one takes priority here. It appears to be the one going backwards! Oh, shit. <laughs> alright, alright, alright. So, I, I got the basics for the test chamber down. Now it's just a matter of figuring out what the fuck is going on. Okay, so Excursion Funnel 1 is down. And because that's not active, this is active. Good, but this is also active. I've... wait, why... what deactivates those? Because when I went over there, that one wasn't active. Which would mean that the activation of the opposite... field deactivates this? Or is it just that whenever this is up, that is down? No, that is definitely still up. Okay, so... Things I know. That cube deactivates this. That cube would activate this, and I think deactivates this. Oh, I am in trouble. Also, the excursion funnel is activated by each individual cube. Hmm. And the cubes will have to be off of here for me to be able to go up. I'm just wondering if there's anything else down there is really the issue. So let's try traveling in the excursion funnel when they're both on. Nope, nope, I got the wrong one. No, still the wrong one. Can I travel the other way? What determines which way I'm traveling in these excursion funnels? It seems to be luck, if nothing else. 
Oh. Alright, so that worked. I have no idea why it worked, but it did. So now I've got a portal down there and a portal up here, which means if I go back... Maybe if I jump back into it about halfway, huh? Nope. Come on, huh? Hey! Well, to those who take risks go the rewards. And I can't get back across now. Shit. <laughs> okay. How do I get back across? How in the world do I get back across? I Whenever I'm on one of these platforms, the only way to get back across is to keep that button active, but that button is the only thing that allows me to get through. Wait, what does that button allow me to get through? The bottom area, I think? Create a portal on the bottom area, yeah. I just have to remake the cube. I'm an idiot. Did that permanently activate the excursion funnel, or is it just temporary? Whoa! Okay, so that just activated it. Because it puts it there. Oh my god. Alright, now back across. It's time to figure out some science. Alright, so can I just, um... Can I take this cube? Oh, other cube. Oh, damn it. How do I how do I get this cube back now? Oh, I can just put a portal there by the doing that. Um, I think I may have ruined my chances of winning this test chamber. <laughs> Shit. Um Maybe if I No, I can just remove the cube manually. Good. Okay, so blue portal's down. I need to go activate the orange one by placing that box on the correct area, and I can remake the cube on this side. Well, I could, but I don't think I want to. Okay, so let's try. Hup. Nope, wrong way. Alright, again. Hup. Success. There we go. I wonder, I seriously wonder what determines which takes priority in this event. But in any case, orange. Recreate. And then, button. Now, both excursion funnels are active, so let's activate button one. That should carry its cube up to the top. Then get across to the side with the exit. And activate button two. There we are. Go on up. Success. All right, and is that it? Is that the end of the test chamber? All right, it is. Not bad, not bad at all. But as I mentioned in my previous, uh, my previous backup video, which you may not have, he well, you'll have seen that first since this is the second backup. But um, I mentioned that I don't like puzzles that redo the same thing, and in this case, the mirror aspect was the whole thing that made it difficult. The fact that you had to manage which boxes were that were where. But all I can really say to that is that. While it does make some sense to be able to just look at the puzzle and say, yeah, no, I can definitely do this, and then you have to look at it a little bit differently when you go around the second time, this wasn't any different the second time around. The only challenge was trying to activate the excursion funnel in the first place. Once you've done that, you just have to do that again for the second side, since there doesn't seem to be a time limit on the excursion funnel. But then again, a time limit on the excursion funnel, given the... Uh, slightly confusing nature of this test chamber may have made it a bit difficult for folks. All things considered, still fun, still good, but just, um, I don't know, a bit, a bit repetitive when it all came down to repeating the second process to get through the chamber. Oh well. As always, though, this has been PA, and I'll see you next time for our next episode of Perpetual Testing.